Hi guys, Danielle here, DJ Beauty, and this is my everyday eye and face makeup tutorial for you guys. So this is kind of a minimal looking, quite natural makeup look that is suitable for everyday wear and is something that I do pretty much every day. So we're going to start off by prepping the skin and for this I'm going to be using Benefits The Professional. This is just a tiny sample size that I have. But if you take a pea sized amount, rub it in your fingers and then apply all over the face. The good thing about this primer is it also helps to reduce the look of pores. So if you're somebody that suffers from large pores, this is going to be really good for you. So once you've blended that into the skin, we're next going to take a concealer. Now I'm using two different shades of concealer but they're both the same brand and it is the Rimmel Hide the Blemish Concealer and I'm going to be taking these in number two, Sand, and number four, Natural Beige. I'm going to take number four first. This has got a bit more of a pinky tint to it so I'm going to use this under my eyes to combat the darkness. I'm just going to put and if you like to want using number two, which as you can see I don't have a lot left of, this is going to be more of a brightening concealer. So this is going to go around the sides of my nose, laugh lines, a bit on my chin, down the centre of my nose, a little bit on my forehead there, and then on any blemishes that I've got, which I have a couple of. And then I also like to dot just a little bit on my cheeks because they get quite red. So don't worry, this is going to look a lot better in a minute because I am going to blend it in. I am going to use the Bare Minerals Max Coverage Concealer Brush, which looks like this, to blend all of this in. I like to take my concealer over my eyes as well because I have quite uh, pronounced veins on my eyelids, so the concealer just helps to cover them up along with the eyelid primer that I will be using later. So this is going to take me a little while, so I'm just going to put this on fast forward for you guys. So there you have it, it's all blended in now and it just makes your face look a little bit brighter and you've put some here which is going to bring light to your face and down the middle of your nose. That's kind of a highlighting um, move. So if you've got a particular highlighter that you like using you can of course use that there instead but I like to use a light concealer because it doubles up my makeup products and I don't need to spend as much money. So the next thing I'm going to do is to set that concealer. So I'm going to be using Rimmel London's Clear Complexion Clarifying Powder and this is in number 21 transparent and I'm just going to be taking an Eco Tools powder brush, swirling it in and then buffing it all over my face. Now this helps to set the makeup that I've put on as well as get rid of any oil and shine because I hate having a shiny face. It is the thing that I hate most in this world and it always happens. I'm just going to put a little bit extra here and down my nose because that's where I tend to get shiny most. So now that we've done the basis of our face, we're going to put a little bit of blush on because otherwise you're going to look very pale and washed out. So I'm going to be using Soap and Glory's Love at First Blush, which looks like this. And I'm going to be taking another Eco Tools brush, this time it is the blush brush. And I'm going to swirl, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to smile to get the apples of my cheeks and then brush it up a bit. Since this is a natural look, you don't want too much blush on, just enough to give you that little natural glow. I also like to take whatever's left on my brush at the end and just put a couple dabs on my chin. It just makes your face look a bit brighter and a bit more natural looking. So that is it for the face and now we're going to move on to the eyes. 